Welcome to MusicMovie.com, and today I want to discuss doing collaborations with other artists. Now, with a lot of independent artists and local artists, I always hear the question, should I be charging to collab with other artists? Now, obviously, it's all up to you. I mean, I can understand, like, if it's a your good friend who you've known for years and you both kind of do each other favors, like, he'll help you on a track and you do something for him on another track or whatever. That's fine and it's totally up to you. But when it comes to other artists that maybe you don't know as well or things like that, stop doing stuff for free. And you need to know your worth as an artist. Take a look at yourself as an artist. Do you sell a lot of tickets for shows? Can you bring in a crowd? What's your web presence like? I mean, do you have a lot of hits to your website? Do you have a lot of Facebook friends? Do you have a lot of Twitter followers or Instagram followers? All this goes into your worth as an artist. So, take a look at yourself. If you, if you do pretty decent at shows, especially if you're selling records, I mean, that's a huge deal, but if you have a pretty decent web following, you should charge for collabs because you can offer yourself as a promotional package as well. So say an artist wants to do a collaboration with you, whether depending on the genre, whether it be um, just adding music to it or to their song or doing a, uh, a verse on your song in hip-hop or whatever genre, know your worth and charge what you think you should be charged. There's many things you could do. I mean, depending on the level of the artist as well that you're working with, if it's a local artist that does decently, just charge a flat rate. If it's like a medium level independent artist or close to major, you can charge a flat rate and ask for publishing points. Or you could just ask for publishing points. You know, it just depends. And offer yourself as a promotional package, especially if you have a decent web presence. For instance, an artist wants to do a collab with you, and you could be like, look, this is what I charge, but this is what it comes with. You get a verse from me, and then when you release the song or the album, I will promote it on my social media, which has such and such followers or blah, blah, blah. I'll put it on my website to help you promote it for a certain amount of time, blah, blah, blah. So you could totally throw in a promotional package with a verse, with a collaboration. Charge for your work. We need to stop doing stuff for free all the time. Know your worth. Even a local artist has some worth. It just depends. You know, a lot of a lot of these local artists or just indie artists don't want to pay for things. They think a lot of stuff should be free, but that's not the case. Know your worth. And always get a contract. Put one together. Now, if you need help or need contract templates, you can visit www musiccontractshub.com there'll be a link uh, at the bottom of this video also if you want to learn more on how to release an album and how to make the most money from an album get our ebook www.yourmusicrelease.com it's an excellent guide step by step guide to help you release an album and I want to thank you please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we shall see you soon